A new study by an online group providing abortion pills by mail says medical abortions done at home are safe, but critics warn the self-reported research by women on web lacks basic medical information and is dangerous. Joining us now is Chuck Donovan, president of the Charlotte Lozier Institute, a pro-life education and research group. So Chuck, all of the information was self-reported, so there's no independent evidence to support these claims, but the study was reported in BMJ, an online British medical journal. How can they publish a study with no real independent evidence? Well, Mike, they shouldn't have published this one. You know, certainly pharmaceutical companies sponsor studies, that's how they do new drug trials. But in this case, it was an advocacy group and longtime advocates for abortion who had already editorialized in Ireland for uh, medication abortion or what we call chemical abortion very interested in the outcome they're political advocates and they really contributed a poorly designed study that the BMJ British Medical Journal should have rejected in reality Chuck how dangerous is it for women to take abortion pills without medical supervision well the lack of medical supervision is certainly one of the most uh, uh, troublesome parts of this the medical histories are as reported by the individual Self-reporting about abortion, previous abortions and such, when a woman really wants the medication, has been promised it for free or no cost, uh, is even more likely to be misreported. Uh, doctors should be present at the beginning and the end, certainly if you're going to do a study and not have a medical comparator, that is women who would say have surgical abortions. Uh, this study is, study is deeply flawed and as I say, it should not have been published. As you referenced, this study was done in Ireland and Northern Ireland, countries with very strict abortion laws. Right. What needs to happen to protect women from potentially dangerous at-home abortions? Well, I, I bring this issue home because we here in the United States recently changed the protocol for administration of chemical abortions, allowing them up to 10 weeks of pregnancy. Now, that, that's well into pregnancy when the baby's features can be demarcated and so forth. Uh, we have the ability, if we choose to do it, to improve our abortion reporting in the United States. The FDA has not circulated a report on adverse events surrounding medication abortion now for six years. They have the capacity, but they're a little bit intimidated by the abortion industry. That needs to change. Yes, and we would appreciate your coming on here to shine a light on this because so many people just don't realize uh, how dangerous this can be. Chuck Donovan, president of the Charlotte Lozier Institute, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, White.